Hi everybody! Um, this is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. But if you're new, welcome to my channel. Um, if you're wondering why I'm acting a little weird uh, for those who are new, uh, this is my first time recording in like two years. So I'm like a little camera shy again and I hope you y'all are doing well. Um, I'm not gonna get into the details of why the heck I was gone for so long. Um, because no one wants to hear about that. I can make a whole other video about that if you do want to hear about that. But today we are here to talk about my bridge piercing, my experience with getting it. I'm making this video for anyone who has felt like, oh, I want to get a bridge piercing, but I don't know what all is going to entail if I get it. Well, I'm your girl today. I have a bunch of notes on my phone of everything that I need to tell y'all. As you guys can probably tell, I am a baby channel, so if you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to, you know, subscribe or even just like the video or just comment. Um, it would mean the world to me. Uh, this is a part-time job for me. I want to keep doing it. That would be great. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. So I have a couple of different things I'm going to cover. This is what it looks like if it can focus. There you go. Um, there is my bridge piercing right there. The thing that is really funny about it is I didn't even... Girl, I'm focused. Thank you. I didn't even want this piercing. Okay, one second. My cat. We are not doing this right now. So the thing that's funny about this piercing for me is I didn't even want it when... I saw it as a teenager. I was like, this is the most ugliest piercing ever. Like this shit is hideous. It's, I felt the same way about the Medusa piercing, um, but then it takes change, I guess. So I got this piercing back in October, um, I think September or October. So I've had it for like half a year now. And I'm sorry, this piece of hair is driving me crazy. I don't know what the length of the bar is and the gauge that they pierced it at. I know there is a specific gauge it should be pierced at. Maybe I can put that somewhere on the screen because I don't know off the top of my head. I went to a very reputable piercer in my area, so I feel like mine is correct. Uh, there is one thing you should know is it shouldn't be done with a curved barbell. If a piercer wants to put a curved barbell in, then they are full of duty and you need to leave that place. I've seen some people with curved barbell bridge piercings and I'm like, oh God, that's just so rough for your skin, bro. That's not even close to how it should be. How much I paid for this piercing, I think I paid like 80 bucks. I'll just tell you my whole experience of me going in there. So I went in and I was super hype, ready to go. And um, the dude was feeling to see if I had the anatomy. Ignore that, please. Thank you. Um, he was feeling to see if I had the anatomy for the piercing. And <laughs> turns out I don't. I do not have the correct anatomy for a bridge piercing. He was like, yeah, there's like a 99% chance that it's gonna reject. And I said, what do you mean, bro? Like, but I mean, I want it. And I was all ready to get it. But he said he's willing to do it as long as I understand. And I had to sign like a little contract saying that I was informed that it's most likely gonna reject. And here's the thing. I'm not gonna be like those little ladies and fellas on TikTok where I see them with a bridge piercing that's hanging on by a thread. That drives me crazy. I'm like, just let it go. Just, you gotta hold the door open and let her walk out, girl, because you are holding on to that when she is not even in the relationship anymore. He said there is 1% chance that it's not gonna reject and I'm over here thinking I'm gonna be that 1%. Most piercers won't do it and I don't think my piercer is a bad guy for doing it anyways. I kind of was getting on his ass and I was just like, please, I don't care if I only have it for a couple months, I just want it. I know it's gonna scar and he was showing me his scar. He was like, a scar's really bad. This is a really bad scarring piercing. I think I said in my Medusa piercing uh, video that 
I'm like really worried about scarring and that's why I didn't want to get that piercing for a long time. In these past couple of years, I just don't really care anymore. I don't know, like there's makeup. And if not, I'll be like, yeah, I have a scar there because I used to have a piercing there. It's not the end of the world. I don't know, you only live once, right? So don't let that deter you, I guess. Um, you do with that information what you will, but I probably won't have this piercing forever. Um, anyway, so he gave me that whole spiel. I dogged his ass. He was like, fine, I'll do it. How the whole thing went was he had me lay down and, well, he marked it up first and he had me lay down and put the clamp on. Um, I've seen some videos where they don't use a clamp. I've seen some videos where you're sitting up. It honestly just depends on what the piercer wants to do. To be honest, the most like intense feeling was the clamp. It was extreme pressure. Like it didn't hurt. I'm gonna be honest, it didn't hurt, but it was a lot of pressure that when the piercing went through, it just felt like the pressure intensified. Like, I swear to God, right hand up to God, it did not hurt. Yeah, the whole procedure was very easy and um, it swelled up pretty good, but not too bad. Like, I don't know, he was like prepping me. He's like, it's probably gonna swell this bad. Like, you gotta do, like, telling me the lowdown of how bad it might be. And I might get like black and blue marks around my eyes. And I was like, shit okay um i didn't have any of that uh pretty much what it felt like directly after for a couple of days was a very intense tension headache you know what i'm talking about like the one that's like right in the front of your forehead that's what it felt like it was just like a really strong tension headache for like three days i was taking ibuprofen i was taking excedrin and how i cleaned it was what they wanted me to do was like soak it like put my whole face in a bowl of salt water which like I tried. I tried to do that in every which way possible. I was like, maybe if I just put my nose in, maybe like, and I would have to soak it for five to 10 minutes, but it just was not working like at all. So I was like a little nifty girl and I created my own way to clean it, which is I took like paper towel or toilet paper and I folded it up into like a little pad and then I like made it so it was like dripping wet in the sea salt solution. And then I just like stood over the sink and held it there for like about five and five minutes if I didn't have time, 10 minutes if I was just like chilling around the apartment, not doing anything. And then that is pretty much the whole experience. I'm trying to think of like any other weirdly annoying things that I wasn't expecting to happen, but it ended up happening and I was like, I don't know why I never heard of this before. Oh, something I could think of is like makeup. If you're like me and you are a little cake face girly, makeup will get stuck around it like pretty intensely. <laughs> like, I mean, it is so annoying to get makeup off, like especially right behind it, like in this area. Um, it is like, it feels impossible. You have to get like little Q-tips with some water and like wipe around it and stuff. Like that is the only way I'm able to this day to get makeup off around it. Like it is just such an annoying piercing to navigate around. Um, also with that, I mean, okay. As you can see, one acrylic fell off. So it's kind of easy to itch your eye like this with no nails on, like most of you probably will have. Um, it still is really annoying, like itching your eye, especially after it's first pierced. Like you feel like you literally can't itch your eye if it's itchy and that's the worst feeling ever. But I put myself on hard mode. I cannot, like I'm doing like this and stuff if it gets itchy around there with these freaking nails. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. I know that sounds so like simple, but you don't realize how much your eye be itching throughout the day until you got this piercing. I swear to God, like I'm not even lying. If you're like using makeup wipes to take off your makeup, sometimes you'll snag it and it'll bleed everywhere and that's fun. But other than that, it's not too bad. Like I definitely think mine is still at the latter end of the healing process. Like, you know, I can't like dick around with it and do whatever I want to it. Like I can with my other piercings. Like I could just like pull my septum or pull on my fucking lip piercing with my teeth, which you shouldn't do, but you know, just, proving a point. I can't do that with it quite yet. Um, but I think that's it. I think that's all I wanted to talk about in this video was just the process um, and all of that. I know the last video I made about a piercing was my Medusa piercing video. And there was a lot more to cover in that one because oral piercings are pretty difficult. So if you want to hear about that video, you can go watch it. It's kind of an older video. 
Um, so sorry about that. But no, this one is pretty simple, straight to the point. Um, and I don't think I have anything else to add. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of weird for me to just make this after being silent for two years. Um, but I just, you know, no one wants to see another update video. I just wanted something with a little more meat on its bones coming back. So it's not just like I disappear for two years and then I make an update and then I disappear again. Not saying I am, but you know, I feel like if I just put an update out there, I'm not like getting the ball rolling with starting to make actual content. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you maybe next week. I don't know about how I'm going to be scheduling. It depends on how busy I get, but I might see you next week, but you will see me soon. I promise. I swear this time. I swear. Love you guys. Bye.